on the heels of Microsoft proclaiming that they are the Netflix of gaming or that's going to be their future strategy, did Netflix just themselves come out of nowhere and slap Microsoft and say, you're doing this wrong? Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Hey, yo, before we get too deep into this one, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so on the heels of the crew nickname, The New Regime, and that's the combination of Satya Nadella, uh, who is the CEO of Microsoft right now, and Phil Spencer, the vice president of Windows Gaming. All right. On the heels of these two coming into power at Microsoft, right? And headlining their strategy, which is they said they want to be the, the, the Netflix of gaming, correct? They have put forth a very controversial strategy as it relates to gaming. It's focused heavily on less quality type of content, but more focused on gamer connectivity type of content. You know, games like Sea of Thieves where there might not be a lot of going on going on at release, but you know, gamers can get together and have fun and get drunk in real life while they're getting drunk on the boat. You know, you know how the story goes, right? But they state that the reason for this is because the company's goal as far as it relates to gaming is to reach the 2 billion potential gamers out there uh, most notably on mobiles and mobile uh, devices and PCs and things like that. Mobile phones, tablets, PCs. They coined this strategy as being the Netflix of gaming as they strive to reach those gamers per any device that they choose that they could be on. However, it appears that Netflix themselves by consumer reporting has shown Microsoft via these studies that they beg to differ on Microsoft's siloed approach on consumer engagement. As Netflix own most sought after content is their staple series that lures their original consumer base to their products. All right, so here's what I wanna do. I wanna read you that story, the account of that story via uh, variety.com, all right? So let's check it out. All right, so the story reads, Netflix subscribers say orange is the new black and Stranger Things are their favorite shows on the service. Now, it reads, as to pick their favorite shows on Netflix, user survey put Orange is the New Black at number one, hmm, and Stranger Things at number two, hmm, topping licensed shows like The Office and Friends, according to a new study. That suggests that for Netflix, the coming departure of some popular old TV shows not to mention a steady drop of Disney titles is going to derail, is not going to derail, excuse me, the streaming leap. All right. Very interesting, right? Because Microsoft's approach is completely different from that. They're not going with the pride and true content that their hardcore is known to love and adore from the ecosystem. They're going for what they feel is the casual pool, you know, which is, you know, uh, uh, the connectivity type of games, the coffee shop type of games, and to keep their hardcore at bay and connected to their ecosystem, they think all they gotta do is just give them a gateway to better experience third party stuff instead of them creating that type of stuff themselves that connects to their hardcore. This negates all that. So with that being said, what does MM2K think about all this? Well, my thoughts is this just highlights just how flawed Microsoft's strategy is. Now to better peel back the onion and peel back the layers of that Microsoft gaming strategy, let's just remind everybody that in neglecting or pivoting from their hardcore, Microsoft has stated early on at the helm of this new regime that the reason that they were failing so bad is due to this power narrative. So for those of you that have been under a rock, this power narrative thing is a media-driven narrative that looked down on the whole Xbox One console for not possessing stronger output on paper, all right? You therefore have a decision of either 
satisfying your hardcore with better Xbox content or create a better console to combat this narrative and reach the masses. And in light of these two decisions, you decide to go with the latter in spite of your hardcore, just wanting better content, right? You create said console that again combats this power narrative, yet you further perpetuate the power narrative by when you release this more powerful console, the Xbox One X, you still make the weakest console out of the two your flagship console, that weaker console being the Xbox One S. And with that being said, the Xbox One S is weaker than all the consoles out there. So in doing so, you not only confuse your message with this lopsided approach, but you further confuse your message with the lopsided advertising that you're doing out there. So you not only totally disengage a huge, a huge portion of your hardcore, but due to their lack in engagement and your poor marketing, you do even a worse job at grabbing mindshare, a worse job than ever. Since Phil had announced this strategy to the public, Microsoft has failed to win an NPD sets, including the month where the Xbox One X released, okay? So with all that being said, you want to continue to move forward Again, with this coffee shop strategy, we're gonna springboard from nothing and just get caught in a crowd, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, of these uh, uh, these two billion gamers. You wanna move forward with the wing of this strategy, right? And just simply tell the hardcore, you know what? You're gonna have to continue to sit back even further and just enjoy these trinkets of things that we give you, like these Xbox One X enhanced multi-plats, you know what I'm saying? Even though we got lazy developers that are doing a half-assed job with them because the PlayStation console is the better selling console. So why would you put your best foot forward on a box that is not is 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 poor, doing piss poor in sales? All right. I get it that developers are creative and they're artists, but they answer to publishers and publishers are businessmen. And then no businessman in his right mind is gonna tell their developer to put all your efforts in the least selling units. <laughs> it's just common sense, it's just common business sense. But with that being said, you want us to all of a sudden believe that this strategy is gonna work even though it's been failing. And Netflix has shown you that even though you're using their name in spite, that they're not doing what you're doing. You're not mimicking them by following the strategy. They are providing exclusive top-notch content that their core cannot get elsewhere. Content that you're gonna need in order to keep that core intact so you can springboard for them and even have a chance at reaching a wider consumer base. Even in the rough times, like the loss of all these Marvel or MCU based shows, Netflix is still providing strong numbers. They do so because of their exclusive content that hardcore supporters have loved since the early days and content that they keep providing. So at the end of the day, Microsoft, you still got a lot to learn, baby, in this arena <laughs> before you start calling yourself the Netflix of anything. And hopefully Netflix have shown you that they shown you that the this product that they have that you want to emulate, hopefully what they've done is in order for you to emulate them the correct way, they have scribbled enough notes for you, well enough for you to comprehend on the chalkboard. All you need to do now, Microsoft, is stop being so damn stubborn and stare at that chalkboard until it sinks in. And that, my friends, is it from your boy MM2K. Hey, yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because at the end of the day, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, you can catch me on the corner of every boulevard. You know what I'm saying? Check out the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples. Dirk Griggity, Neethos, Snow Bunny. It is called Scram Punks. We air it every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Dirk Griggity's channel. Just look up hashtag Scram Punks for more information on that. Hey, yo, follow my brethren, the broadband bullies. We out here doing a damn thing. Check out the Discord link where we be cutting it up, man. It's just jokes, baby. Check out that link to that Patreon because we can't do this without you. And check out that link to that gear because it's fly. And last but not least, 
Follow your boy on the new channel, The Hard Knock Digital Culture, the channel for the hardcore gritty, all right? We highlight hardcore gritty games. We highlight hardcore gritty media, including martial arts, movies, and shows, and anime. Nobody's doing it like this anywhere else. Check us out, twitch.tv forward slash mightymost2000. And with that being said, hey guys, we're going to keep pounding away at this. This ain't got nothing to do with Xbox. Hey, Xbox is just being stubborn. They're stuck in the Redmond silo. We're going to help them out. And if Netflix backhanded them don't work, we're going to keep at it. We're going to keep at it, all right? And with that being said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.